Hey everyone, Nuno here and on today's video I'll be doing a small review of the game Merchant of the Skies that was um, released a few days ago for Steam and I should be announcing the winner of the My Time at Portia giveaway. So yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, so I've been playing for the past few uh, days Merchant of the Skies. Now, this is an independent pixel art game that allows you, a sky merchant, to fly around with your flying ship and to trade resources on sky islands. Now, the concept, it's simple and the gameplay is very straightforward, uh, which is very good in my opinion because the tutorial also gives you a good insight of how the game mechanics work and that's really good. Um, overall, all you want to do in this game is to discover new islands, buy new items from them, sell those items on other islands that will pay way more gold. Um, I, would, I was going to say way more money, but the currency is gold. So they will pay you way more gold for them. And then at the same time, you will want to upgrade your ship. You want to buy a new ship, you know, upgrade parts of your ship, buy islands, develop those islands to extract resources that you can sell on these islands and also explore the world of flying islands and of course flying ships. Now, let's look at the points that I like and the points that I don't like. Uh, starting with what I believe are the pros of this game. Um, graphics, I love 2D pixel art. They are extremely well done for this game and it does give you that magic look and feel. So that's really good. I also love the Arabic music that is playing on the background. Uh, it makes me feel like I'm traveling on the Silk Road like ages ago, you know, when uh, merchants would travel on camels and, and you know, cross from uh, Europe to China on land. So yeah, that's kind of have that vibe. And of course, the simple forward gameplay that will give you many hours of entertainment. You can also play not only on campaigns, but also on sandbox. So it's up to you now. The negative points, the cons of this game. Um, I definitely wished we had a more in-depth storyline. I mean, this is a world where you can have hundreds of stories, fantasy world to be honest, and you could make a lot more, you know, on the stories that would allow you or wish that you could travel to other islands, not not only to explore the world and the map and those islands, but also to trade and have something more than just, you know, Let's find a new island to buy items and uh, another island to sell those items. Uh, eventually uh, exchange uh, guild uh, letters and that's it. Should be a little bit more. Uh, another point is I wish that we had more items to trade. Um, right now there's a few items but you could have a lot more items. I believe that is something that in the future we will have. Future updates will add more items you can trade. Probably more types of islands also. So that's something to look forward. Um, and the last point, um, it's kind of like a bug in my opinion. I don't know if it's a bug, if it's not, but unfortunately it seems like the scrolling on the map when I'm playing uh, on PC, it's a bit rough and sometimes it's hard to make it work. So sometimes I want to go to a, another island that is far away and I can't scroll properly. Uh, luckily, I think it's some, something that is probably easy to fix on future updates also. Either way, guys just try it out uh, and uh, I promise you'll have a lot of fun if you like these kind of games this kind of um, I would I was going to say kind of tycoon games but it it's not yet there it could be uh, really soon but yeah just try it out it's really a great game now into the giveaway winner so I've used a random comment picker and basically congratulations to Michael um, von Grunen one. Hopefully I pronounced your name correctly. If not, I'm really sorry. But congratulations, uh, you're the winner. I'm gonna send you um, the Steam key. Uh, just please reply to my reply on that uh, video and um, provide me please with either an email or just a link to one of your accounts like Twitter or Facebook where I can send you a private uh, message with the Steam key. And uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Cheers.